Welcome back, TCS viewers. It's Chris Nichols here from the Camera Store, and I've got Dave Paul with me again here doing? today. And uh, you know, it was 25 degrees in Calgary <laughs> yesterday. It is now five degrees, uh, but we are going to brave the cold and do a lens test here for you. Now, I've got the brand new Tamron SP 24 to 70 with vibration control, and I'm going to put this up against Dave's lens here, the brand I, new Canon. I got the brand new Canon 24 to 70 version two, which is getting outrageous reviews. Yeah, I mean, this lens is getting excellent, excellent reviews for sharpness and overall optical quality, but it's also the most expensive 24 to 70 of all time. <laughs> And uh, it's going to be an interesting test because the Tamron here is also getting very good reviews and it's half the price, almost literally half the price. So we're going to see, is this really the best bang for your buck or is that extra price tag really worth it? I think it's going to be. I'm looking forward to putting it to the test. <laughs> I think this lens is going to give us enough features to justify that it's a way better deal, especially considering the incredible price tag. But we will see. We'll do some tests here and uh, see who wins. Sounds good. All right, now we're going to put our lenses up against a distortion test here. We are going to do the classic, read that as incredibly overdone, brick wall test here. Dave's going to take his shots. And we're going to shoot these things at 24 millimeters and at 70. You know, we're going to skip that sort of 35, 50 mark because first off, these lenses are going to be good there. And second off, as I mentioned, 22 degree difference from yesterday. It's freaking cold. So Dave's going to take his shots here and we'll see how it goes. Now, Chris, these brick wall shots I just took are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as far as brick walls go, yeah, these are exceptional. You know, this lens from 24, 35, 70 are fantastic. Yeah, I mean, shooting this wall here at 24 on the Tamron makes it look pregnant, I have to admit. <laughs> okay, this, this is not great at 24. 70, you're getting a little bit of distortion. It's pretty good, and through the mid-range, it's nice. But yeah, 24, it's not bad, but okay. I can always take my Tamron into Photoshop afterwards and I can just do some distortion control. It's no big deal, right? You know, shooting with a 5D Mark III, I can do it in camera so I can save that whole step. You can, but you can't because I turned it off on your menu to keep things fair. But I mean, yeah, you know, distortion wise, the 24 to 70 is going to have it. This thing at 24 really is, I mean, you look through it and it, it's bad on the screen already, but distortion's correctable. I'll give it to you. Hey Dave. Hey my, Chris. My Tamron can close focus to 0.38 meters, 1.25 feet. How about yours? I know. Can you read that? Uh, I think it says 0.38 meters as well. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, how about this though? Okay, I'm shooting at ISO 400. It's getting pretty dark here now. Okay, I'm gonna do a macro shot here, and looking through, I'm getting tenth of a second. Now I've got VC on this, and that's a big advantage. Tamron says four stops. That probably means three. Okay, but that's still three more stops of stabilization than the Canon lens has. So. I'm going to take the shot. I dare you to get the same sharpness that I can get here handheld. <laughs> well, I'm going to give this one to you already because I'm already freezing out here. So <laughs> vibration control is definite advantage come in Calgary's on, weather tonight. <laughs> come on, give it a try. All right. Oh, nice yeah. and sharp. I mean, that's what I want to see for 10th of a second anyways. Not bad. Oh, continuous. That's cheating. <laughs> yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah. So, you know, VC does have a huge advantage here. I mean, obviously not for sports or action, but you know, hand holding, macro capability, low light situations. Obviously, the Tamron's got a huge advantage. Remember, this is the first 24 to 70 2.8 on the market with an image stabilizer in it. And so that does give the Tamron another edge. You know, so really if you find yourself it. using the, the lower end of the shutter range, VC is certainly a nice, uh, nice feature. Hey, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so not only is it five degrees, but it's also raining, <laughs> of course. Why not? This brings up a good point. Mm. The, the Canon is actually weather sealed lens. Well, you know, actually, that does bring up a very good point <laughs> because the Tamron, for half the price, is also fully weather sealed. And you know, when it comes to these two lenses, you put them side by side, they are exactly the same size. I mean, physical dimensions, weight, they're 20 grams apart, just over 800. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, construction wise, yeah, the Canon's got a good solid feel, but you know, the Tamron, nice and solid good solid feel, I don't think it'd be a problem. Okay, Dave, so next test here, autofocusing. Okay. okay. I mean, both lenses here are very, very nice hypersonic motors, right? Yep. I haven't noticed any sound out of mine. No, it's been very, very quiet. It's fantastic. Pretty quick too, hey? Very, very but, fast. I mean, it's important to know how fast your lens can focus. Let's see if there's any difference, okay? Yep. This is uh, this is a highly scientific test here. Looks, okay. uh, looks very scientific. Just, just go with it, all right? Okay. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna focus at infinity, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to hit the stopwatch. Okay. When you see five seconds, right when you see five, take a shot of that. We'll see how long it takes to rack focus and take that shot. And we'll see how much higher than five seconds it is. Okay? I'm in. I'm in. We'll just see what we get. All right. <laughs> all right. Are you ready? I'll uh, let you get focused at okay. infinity there. Okay. Hold on. All right. 
Get ready, and Hit. we're gonna start it. Wait for five. Hit. All right, well, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, my turn. Your turn. Now, of course, we're shooting at 70 millimeters. Yes. Center point, center single point. autofocus. Okay, I'm gonna go to infinity. All right, you ready, and five seconds? I'm thinking my slightly younger age than you will help my reflexes greatly. So All right, I'm looking forward to these see. test results. <laughs> All right, go for it. You ready? Yeah. That did not feel quick. <laughs> that did not feel quick. All well, right. we'll take a look here, see what we got. All right, Dave, so we tried this test a few times. We did, yes. <laughs> I consistently get 5.6 seconds. I just can't seem to make this lens go any faster, and it does have a noticeable delay. For sure, and I was hovering around 5.3, 5.4, so yeah, consistently a couple steps uh, faster than and you. And considering your age, you're probably getting 5.2 <laughs> most of the time, so cannon for the win on this one. I will give it to you. Autofocusing is quicker, and that's important, very important. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, but my lens got a locking mechanism on here. They've added that to the Canon now as well. Okay, fine. Okay, but check this out. Tamron lens cap. Look at that. Pinchy <laughs> lens cap. Ah, uh, okay. it's cold. Try it right I'll, now. Try I'll, it. I'll give fingers. you that one. I'll give you that one. Yeah, you, yeah. That's that's a point for me. Win. All right, Dave, so it is getting pretty dark. It's not hey. just dark. Yeah, <laughs> dark and cold. Do we mention already it's cold today? Yes. Um, so what we're doing here is just a bit of a resolution test. Again, I mean, another brick wall, it, it's so convenient. They're just all over the place. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, it's an amazing we, looking brick wall. We've got one here lit. So <laughs> what we've done is we've shot both lenses at 24 and at 70, at 2.8 and at f8. Now, honestly, folks, we've turned off long noise reduction, all that kind of stuff, but these are not ideal conditions for lens testing res. But you know, you guys have looked on the internet, right? I mean, you've there's, looked on there's the so internet. much information out there. People with way more time on their hands than us, <laughs> and inside, yeah, it's, <laughs> you know, it's warm. <laughs> you know, looking at our photos, we do see a little bit of what correlates with online. But basically, I would say this: I do have to give it to the Canon overall for resolution. Where the money I feel is on this lens is that from 2.8 to f8, f11, you get very consistent results right to the corner. I mean, you can shoot it wide open, wide angle, it's sharp right the way through. Absolutely, right to the corners. It doesn't really matter if you stop down or not, you don't get much improvement. It's already that good at 2.8. I will say this about the Tamron. For its price, it rivals that lens right through the center. No problem. Through the center, sharp, no problem at all. Sharp, sharp. Yeah. Corners at you know 2.8 a little soft. They those clean up f4, f5, 6. So you know that's where we're missing out with the uh, the, the less money, the, the cheaper cost. Uh, we did look at bokeh here. I mean, looking at these shots here, I do like the Canon bokeh. It's it's uh, nice. Whereas the Tamron, you get these funny shapes in the uh, a circle. little bit. Yeah, it was certainly yeah, a little bit nicer. A little it's bit a... patterns. But again, you know, minor minor points. Now you know some other side points. The lenses optically, it's funny. Both lenses are very very good for chromatic aberration. It's but true. The, the Tamron's actually a little bit better. It is some, it's impressive. Like actually. a little bit. And, and color fringe on the lenses. Again, you know, the Canon's very good, but the Tamron's a little bit better. So, you know, I, I think overall the Tamron image quality is fantastic. I mean, you wouldn't think it's third party glass from the way it's kicking out. For the price you're paying for that lens, it is a very good. For portrait guys who like center sharpness all the way through, I think it's going to lend itself absolutely, uh, absolutely. You know, a great lens. Canon, if you're a, a landscape kind of guy, right? Corner to corner sharpness is everything. Um, Canon's going to be that much better. I mean, if we take it right from a strict competition point of view, the Canon lens is sharper right through. Yeah, it's I mean, arguably the best 2470 on the market. I would say so right now. Most expensive. <laughs> All right, Chris, after testing these, you have to say the Canon is the best lens out there. Yeah, it really is. I mean, optically, overall, I guess the Canon does have it. Yeah, and the autofocusing was a very, very big loss for the Tamron. I mean, well, that's that a real is world a... test. That's something Absolutely. that photographers are going to love. Absolutely. But you know what? The Tamron, you got to remember, for a lot of people out there, this is going to be a, a much better lens. I mean, literally, the price point, considering that you're getting a lens which is well built, sealed, uh, better warranty, um, you know, and, and optically still very, very outstanding. And don't forget, VC, huge, huge benefit. Not only for still guys, but also for video guys. Very this, true. This is the lens for doing, you know, uh, walk and talks and getting nice handheld stability. Yeah, and no, I gotta give it to you on that one. That's pretty good there. But outstanding, just outright image quality. Nothing's gonna top this one right now. Dude, yeah, if you're rich, this is the one to go for. <laughs> and really, I would say probably the best 24 to 70 on the market. But Hands yeah. down. Yeah, you got it. Well, folks, hopefully this helps you make a decision about which one might be better for you. If you want the best, 
If you want the best for the money, <laughs> there we go. Sounds good. Thanks very much. We'll see you guys on a warmer day, hopefully, next time. Next one, definitely warmer. <laughs>